what we want to give him, what we have arranged for him, what we feel is good for him. But he has told us what he wants from us. Is there in his word. But those things he requires from us, we are not willing to give. We believe that if we give sacrifices of worship and praise, it will suffice. There is a place for that. But he wants purity. He wants sincerity. He wants our heart totally for him. Because when that happens, we'll begin to see the manifestation of the things we say in worship, the things we say in prayer. We'll begin to see it when the Lord can find what he wants from us. Scripture says the sons are crying, are asking, nations are waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. If I don't use daughter and I say son, it, it applies because we are sons of God. Generations are waiting, nations are waiting. Not just for our songs, but for our life. The manifestation of Christ in character, in obedience. Christ as powerful as he is, was obedient to the Father while he was here. Every single time. As I see my Father do, that's what I'm doing. But we as believers just want to live a life away from him. Do our own thing. Serve him our own food. Do as we want. We want this same Christ while he was here. Did not do anything of his own. That's what scripture said. He did everything the father said to do. Even when the cup was so heavy. That he wanted to do away with it. He said nevertheless. Not my will. But yours be done. Even at the verge of that heavy cup, he still allowed the Father. Yet we are nothing close to that heavy cup, and yet we don't want to allow the Father. We don't want the Father to have his way. We don't want to do what he wants. We just want to do us. Sincerity. Sincerity what you want from us and if I'll beg everyone listening to me don't let your songs go where your life has not gone make sure that as your song is going your life is also going with your song Make sure that as your prayers are going, your life is going with your prayers. Don't let your songs go and your life is the same. Don't give your heart in your songs and don't give it in the natural. Don't give your heart in your worship, but don't give it in real time. give your heart in reading of the word but do not give it in real time when you give it in reading of the word but when it's time to practicalize the word you read then your life is not matching up because that's the only way our worship our prayer our reading of the word will make sense like I said earlier if truly we behold him we can't leave anything short of him the problem is that we are not beholding him if truly we behold him, we can't leave anything short of his life. It's impossible. Let's not always think that our singing is one side, our preaching is one side, you know, our anointing is one side, and our life is on another side. It's one and the same. Sincerity is what you want 